I'm quite glad that I don't mic anything because when you do things like that in a house and you've got to be, you've got to accept the fact that other people are living in the house and it's not your house, you know, <laughs> you know, I don't live, I don't live on my own. You have to be wary that you can't just expect everybody to, you, you, if, if you're hell bent on micing everything at home, you're going to not be able to do everything when it's the right time for your brain and you know and your motivation because you're going to have to organize everyone around when you're and again you can't expect them to remember they're going to walk in and walk out again and open the door and shut the door and you know yeah, and, and, you, and now where where this where this wheelchair is pretty old now it will creak at the slightest thing so miking is not going to happen either that way even if i was living on my own if I was playing an acoustic or whatever and I'd moved the slightest bit, it's going to creak. And then, so everything at home, really, there's no option most of the time, but to go direct completely. Like I said, harmonica is the only exception <laughs> where you're just desperately trying not to, while you're moving around around the microphone, you're desperately trying not to creak anything in the process because then you have to do the take again. So, yeah, of course, I can see how that would be more difficult. And then, so the fact that you've almost had your hand forced uh, to not my, not direct miking yeah. and to using software-based equipment instead, um, would you say, I guess, to the viewers, is that, um, has it become almost preferable to you? I mean, obviously, you've got a lot more tools at your disposal now. Yeah, um, I would recommend it for that reason, really. If if you're home recording you have that opportunity that you never get in a um an outside sort of professional studio where you're, you're clocking in you get on with it you, you get lost you know whereas you've got this sort of perfect opportunity at home to go i i'm not feeling like it now but in an hour and a half time i'll i'll see if i feel like it or there's certain days where you already know you feel like it so you just go in there and get on with it quick and if you lose that opportunity because of something beyond your control making a noise somewhere it seems rather silly when you know so yeah, if nice. if you happen to be someone who records um instrumentally and doesn't record vocals then i would definitely recommend going that way because then you're you don't have to be knocked off course by something stupid happening because you're in a house, you know. Yeah, I guess um, a big bonus as well, as you say, for spontaneity. Yeah, that's the main thing because the, the amount of times this album that I thought one day, like, I go, oh, in two days' time, I'm going to do it. And for some reason, my brain was too slow or it wasn't quite clicking in or maybe the improvs weren't, maybe my brain wasn't alert enough for the, for, for decent improvs and things like that you sort yeah. of go okay i'll come back tomorrow and then see if it works and obviously if that goes on too long you do have to discipline yourself and sit down and go right sit down and get on with this <laughs> yeah cool but, but it means if, it, if it's only happening a little bit you know you can do it whereas you totally lose that opportunity when you're um clocked into a studio and you've got i would hate that with the instrumental stuff like so bad that would be terrible because it'd be like, yeah. oh, just, just 18 more takes and I'll, life will probably be good. <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, no I, can, I can imagine that. 